All right, hello everyone. My name is April Sinirato Hachero from Bacolod Negros Occidental. I help people who have difficulty in their math lesson. I give tutorial lesson how they solve it in easiest way and very effective. Even if they are totally don't know their math lesson or find it hard to say, trying solving it. So for today, this, are, this is our lesson, quartile, decile, and percentile with group data. So once again, April Hachero. So, instruction, determine the Q sub 1, D sub 7, and P sub 90 of each of the following data. Show clearly your solution and computation for each number. So, this is our given class interval and the frequency. C, 70 to 75, frequency is 10, 76 to 81, the frequency is 15, class interval 82 to 87, frequency is 12, 88 to 93, the frequency is 9 and 94 to 99 the frequency all right take note of argument next this is our solution so see we need to solve first the cumulative frequency so what ano ang cumulative frequency paano natin to gawin so it mamaya ito magiging answer natin no q1 d sub 7 and p90 ito magiging answer natin pa paano yan mamaya na yan so Ano muna yung cumulative frequency? How to solve it? No? Una-una, gagawin mo lang yung frequency, di ba? Nap nap napapansin mo tong frequency, 10, 15, 12, 9, and 8. No? Ito, i-total mo lang yan, i-add mo lang to lahat. O, yan yung cumulative frequency. So, copy the 10. Okay? 10 plus 15 is 25. So, the cumulative frequency of 76 to 81 class interval is 25. Alright? Gets? Next. 25 plus 12 equals 37. So, yan na magiging cumulative frequency ng class interval muna 82 to 87. Okay? Next, 37 plus 9 is 46. So, and so on. No? 46 plus 8 is 54. So, lahat daw to, ang total number niya is 54. Alright? Tally. Gets? Next. Now, we try to solve our quartiles, no? Group data to, ha? Nakaraan, meron tayong ungroup data. So, ito, group data yung class interval natin, yung data natin, di ba? So, how to solve quartile, quartiles? The formula is, take note of this formula. Q sub K, no? Is equals to LB plus, open parenthesis, K and divided by 4 minus F divided by overall divided by f gross quantity i so yung qk yung yan yung quartile no quartile where k is from 1 to 3 kung ano yung sinusolve mo kung ano ba yung inaas sa question of q1 q2 or q3 all right yan yung maging k ang lb naman yan yung lower boundary of the qk class no ang magiging class boundary ya tingnan natin muna yung class yung given natin Para mas maliwanag. So, ito. And pencil. Oh, take note, lower boundary. Mga class interval, oh, 70 to 75. No? May lower boundary ka dyan, no? Na minus 0.5 ka lang doon. May magiging lower boundary mo. Kunyari, 70. So, minus 0.5. So, yung lower boundary mo ay 69.5. Ganun yung pagsusub niyan. Alright? And... N, small n, is the total number of frequency. So, based dito sa given natin, no, ito, ito yung total natin is 54. Alright? And, big F is the cumulative frequency of the class. Alright? Small f is the frequency of the class size. No, dito ka naman tingin sa frequency. Small f, ito. Big F dito sa CF, no, cumulative frequency. No, big F yan. Ang I naman is class interval. No, a class size. Ibig sabihin, magtingin ka sa class interval mo. So, sa so given natin is 70 to 75. So, ang class size niya is, count mo lang. Hmm, pwede naman niya i-count. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So, it means 6. No, 6. Ang class six. size yan sa ating given. So, let's answer. Substitute mo lang yan sa formula natin. No? By the way, we are asking for the Q sub 1. No? Kailangan natin is solving Q sub 1. So, K is 1 na yan. No? Q, K is equal to LB. Yun. Tingnan nyo yung formula. 
So, this is our given, di ba? Yan naman yung formula. So, we need to na ano lang, substitute. So, alam na natin yung I is 6, di ba? Ito nga yung how to solve yung I, 72, 75. So, 6 yan sila lahat. We are going to solve the K is 1. No? We, sa question, we are looking for Q sub 1. So, K is 1. So, by solving this, K, paano mag-solve yung lower boundary? Paano mo yan mahanap? K, ang K mo is 1, di ba? Times N, the N is 54, divided by 4. Yan. So, nasa, nasa ano yung sagot mo? Wait lang, wala akong, ito, yan, ayan, wait, na, ano na siya? <laughs> oh, ito yun, o, oh, 13.5 yung sagot, di ba? Bakit naging 13.5? K nga is 1 times N mo is 54 divided by 4. So, it means 54 divided by 4 is 13.5. So, yan na yung, ang, uh, ano mo, magiging guide mo. So, based dito sa, sa, in, ano natin, sa data, hanapin mo yung 13.5, Hanapin mo yung 13.5, diba? Dito ka magtingin sa class frequency. 10, 25, no? Diyan ka magtingin. So, saan banda ang 13.5? Hindi naman pwede 10 kasi kulang. So, nasa 25 siya. So, ito na yun. So, ang class interval natin na Q1, yung sagot natin, yung sagot natin ay 76 to 81. Dapat dyan yung sagot natin sa Q sub 1. No? Now, as you can see, yung constant, constant natin ngayon for ha, CF, no? Na, na alam mo na kung saan banda siya, di ba? 76 to 81. So, yan yung cumulative frequency. Diyan banda maging sagot mo. So, tingnan mo yung F, yung big F. Ibig sabihin, yung before ng 25 sa data mo is 10. So, yan yung big F mo. And, small F, yung frequency na within your data within your class size. So, 15 based dyan sa given natin. So, yan na yun, no? I, K, L, B, N, constant. Alam mo na yan. Gets mo na? Nakuha mo na lahat. So, now, you need, all you need to do is substitute na lang sa formula. No? L, B. So, paano nga ba kumuha ng lower boundary? So, alam mo naman na yung class size mo ay nasa 76 to 81. So, 76 paano? Minus 0.5 ka lang. So, nasa 75.5. Yan yung lower boundary mo na. No? Plus, no, ito na, yung formula na K sub N over 4. Diba? 13.5 na nga itong K N divided 4. Minus F. Yung F mo ay 10. Diba? So, 13.5 minus 10 is 3.5. Kita mo yung 3.5. Yan na yun. So, divided by, yung 3.5 na to, i-divide mo siya sa small letter F na 15. So, 3.5 divided by 15, yung answer is 0 0.22233. Diba? Now, next ang, multiply mo yung sagot mo na 0 0.2333 times sa class in interval mo na ay, class size mo na ay, so, 6, no? 0 0.233 times 6 is 1.4. Okay, so now, overall na to, no? Ang 1.4, i-add mo yan sa 75.5. So, the answer is 76.9. So, yan na yung sagot natin sa Q sub 1, nasa 76.9. So, within the range of class interval 76 to 81. So, 25% of our data lie below 76.9. Alright, now let's solve for the decile. Decile formula, no? For the term decile is centine, 10. Ibig sabihin 10, no? Look at the formula. D sub K is equal to LB. Same lang siya, ba? Same lang siya sa quartile, pero ang constant niya, naging 10 lang kaya nga, decile na nga, eh, de decimal, parang ganun, deci, 10. No? Ang magiging constant lang, nag-iba dito, naging divide, divisor mo na, ang divide mo na lang siya sa 10. So, same lang, oh. Yung ating given data. No? D sub K, we are looking for D sub 7. Kaya yung K mo is 7. And N is, ilan nga ba lahat to? No? Ilan lahat to? Diba? 54. So, N is, N is 54. Okay? Now, the constant is 10. Narito, oh. K sub K, ang K mo is 7, di ba? D7 nga eh. 
times 54 divided by 10. No, da, yan yung magiging an ang sagot mo ay 37.8. Alright? Next, alright, 37.8 na di siya, di ba? So, minus F, yung big F mo, di ba? Alam mo na yung kanina, yung big F mo ay paano mo makuha yung 37.8? Yun na ngayon, K times N divided by 10 is 37.8. So, divided by F. So, base dito, the base dito, no, 37.8. So, tingnan mo ulit yung data mo. Nasaan banda yung 37.8? So, hindi siya pwede sa 37 kasi nga kulang siya. So, dito ka sa may 46. So, ito na yung magiging, ano natin, no? Guide natin, yung 88 to 93. So, dyan banda magiging sagot natin, no? Sa D, D sub 7 natin, no? Mayroon siyang frequency na 9 at cumulative frequency na 46. So, that is our F I 37. Kaya yung makukuha mo yung F sa before sa 46. So, 37. And the small F, no, ito, yung frequency na within range mo, 9. So, yan yung small frequency, small F mo, 9. Alright? So, substitute mo lang. No, nakuha mo na yung ito, yung formula na K sub K N divided by 10 is 37.8 minus ang F mo ay 37, di ba? No, is equals to 0 0.8, di ba? Divided by mo sa 9. So, answer is 0 0.08889. Now, it times mo tong 0 0.889 sa i. Ang i mo is 6, di ba? Yan yung class interval mo, class size mo, 6. So, the answer is 0 0.5333. So, yung 0, 5, 0 0.5333, i-add mo lang yan sa 87.5. So, ang answer natin is 88.03333. So, within a range of 88 to 93, tama yung sagot natin. 70% of the data lie below 88.3. Next, let's solve for the percentile. So, look at the given data. Percentile naman ang hanapin natin. So, tingnan mo, same lang ang formula. Binago lang yung constant, no? Naging 100 kasi nga percentage na yung nahanap mo. Percentile. So, again... We are looking for the P sub 90. So, ang K mo is 90. Baguhin mo lang yung K, 90 na yan. Ang N mo, same pa rin, 54. Diba? So, 90, 90 div times 54 divided by 100. That is our K and divide 100. So, sagot mo ay 48.6. Diba? Tama. Next, minus. Paano mo naman makuha yung F? So, Ang sagot mo ay nasa 48.6. So, tingnan mo yung data mo. Saan banda dyan may 48.6? So, hindi naman pwede 46 kasi nga kulang. So, dito tayong sa 54. So, within that class interval, 94 to 99, ay dyan ang magiging sagot natin. Dapat nandyan siya. So, paano kukunin yung F? Yung big F? So, before sang 54 o oh, 46. So, big F mo is 46. Ang small F naman, so within the class interval mo, ang frequency niya is 8. Diba? So, yan na yung magiging small F mo, 8. So, substitute mo lang again sa formula. K, N, divided by 10 is 48.6 minus F na 37, 2.6 yung sagot mo, diba? And, divide mo na yung 2.6 sa 9, answer ay 0 0.325. Then, it times mo yung ang sagot na yan na 0 0.325 times mo sa class size na 6. So, 1.95. So, yung 1.95, i-add mo yan ngayon sa paano makuha yung lower boundary. So, nasa 94 to 99 ka nga, diba? So, lower boundary mo ay 94 minus 0.5 is 93.5. So, 93.5 plus 1.95 is 95.45. So, that is our answer. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, 90% of our data lie below 95.45. Alright, thank you.